All right, so the water's gone back down. It's actually basically at its normal levels. I'm here a little bit earlier than I normally would be, but um, we're gonna give it a shot anyways. I did make some carp bait here. So let's see if it works. Got the recipe idea from Catfish and Carp on YouTube. So, uh, giving it a shot. I've already chummed. And, uh, we'll see. I'm also going to use my stink bait for some catfish. So maybe we'll at least walk away with a catfish or two. Here we go. Alright, so, just really got here. Water, uh, water level is way down. <laughs> but here we are, trying again. I've already got a small hit. <laughs> My allergies are going crazy. So, we'll see here um, if we can get something. It does look like something's playing around with my line right now. Oh. Still messing with it. Oh. Come on. Alright, still something playing around with it. Oh. Alright, it's gone quiet again. So, I'm going to uh, put a carp rig out here and we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so I did have a bit of a hit on the carp bait here. Um, and I saw some carp right beside where I... I had just thrown, so I think that the the nature of the bait and attracting the carp into the area has worked. All right, here we are again. I'm going to be trying the carp bait as well as the catfish bait. Uh, we'll see how they do. The water's down, like as far as I've ever seen it before, so I don't know if that's going to do much for us carp-wise, but let's see how we do. I gotta make this quick, maybe an hour or so. Uh, it's our anniversary, the wife and I's. So happy anniversary, honey. Love ya. Let's get to the fishing. All right, so we got the one on the left rigged with our usual stink bait. I'm not in the spot that I would like to be, but there's, oh, oh my God, okay. What the, oh my God, I got something. I just... Oh my god. Oh man. Well, it's, built, it's worked me into something. There we go. Catfish. That was, just, that was just supposed to be my intro. That was unexpected. Is that a piece of metal? No. Oh, this just screams tetanus shot. Easy, buddy. Alright, we got. 50 pound test, so I would think we're all right. There we go. That's a hubcap. A freaking hubcap. Good lord. Easy, buddy. Let's get the trash off of you. How the. How the hell? Oh my, oh god, oh god, holy sh holy sh oh, he broke me off, it was a carp, holy sh well this is a way to start the day, I always swam through here, that's what he did, okay, well that sucks, alright buddy, Oh my god, I got him right where you don't want to. I'm so sorry, bud. Oh no, alright, I think we missed. Hold on. Don't thrash about quite yet. <laughs> there we go. There, you're alright. Yeah, you're alright. Come on. Alright, got our first catfish. It's dirty as all hell. But uh, that was pandemonium, I think we can all agree. It's a solid pound, pound and a half. 
okay. So, I was like, wipe my hands off here on a tree. Oh my god, what is that? The scariest spider I think I've ever seen in my life. That was a big fish. This is, I believe, 17 pound test. Uh, got everything retied and re rigged and ready to go. Uh, that carp made me realize I might need to switch which I'm fishing for carp with and which I'm fishing for catfish with. But we'll see. If I get broken off again, then it's a, it's a no doubt. This, this rod just shook a little bit. Alright, be something nibbling it. Alright, once again, two fresh baits. I've seen carp swirling by where my bait is. So now they just gotta sift through the stuff and pick up my hook. Maybe we could get another giant. So, starting to get some baby nibbles on the catfish rig here. Carp rig has went pretty quiet. That might have been a one and done for today, and I'm going to have to make some more bait, but that's probably for the better, because this stuff was approaching, you know, like a week old. And uh, according to catfish and carp, that's about the shelf life for it. Something's pecking at it. Probably just an itty bitty guy. Seems to be the majority of what has been in this area. Get that occasional three or four pounder, but the carp is why I'm really here. I've seen massive carp, and I'm pretty confident I can say I've hooked one of them now as well. Thing was a beast. Alright, I think I'm going to start bringing in the carp rod, since it has had no action this, this last cast. Um, yeah, next time, I might try even a little further down to my right here. It's, there's a lot of vegetation, though, so it'd be super snaggy. That's the only thing I don't like, but that's all right. All right, get this guy up. Yeah, corn's there. Not all of it, but most of it. Just a few more minutes to see. I mean, I had a pretty decent hit here not that long ago. Just want to, real quick, uh, make a closing for this video as I'm editing it, actually. Um, it went overall okay uh, the first day, if I included that, which I think I am going to. Was garbage, absolute garbage. Caught nothing, had barely any bites. The second day that we went out there, that carp bait proved that it can uh, it can work. That sucker snapped 17 pound test um, pretty easily. So I'm I imagine I mean when it hit, it like came up and like splashed and stuff. I'd be shocked if it were less than 20 pounds. It might have been bigger, but I didn't get a great look at it. Um, so what did we learn? We learned that even though the water is down, there are fish to be caught there, and I can still have success. We did catch that catfish after all, so not a complete loss, not a great day. It was a slow day, but I mean, those bites came right at the beginning. I'm, I'd probably had my stuff in the water for not even 10 minutes. Then the rest of the time, it was just a hit here and a hit there, but... We're definitely going to give it another shot. I'm going to make more of that oatmeal, gelatin, and um, corn mixture. Worked pretty well. Let's give it a go again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you next time.